that they will stand Did you see those cars you walked past? I May all mother forget for your audience. Unknown device detected? To be taken What's that your mean? Embrace. I am Matriarch Pierce's I thank the wisdom of your elders, the mercy of your mothers. With our tribes united in trade and in trust, I pray that the Nora may never again He's wearing a mourn focus, the death just like of a mine. child in battle. We do not forget our history. Where did he we find a focus? We do not forget the Nora children. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. Their blood is a stain on the honor of the Where did you find a focus? Our actions You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe? when I'm gone. In the beginning, all life came 
from all mother. People, machines, and beasts are all were her children. when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you, it's a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. a child but a mother's hope that takes flight a glowing flame that climbs the air set free to the wind sailing the sky till it fades and falls so from one to another passes the chain of love There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Everyone knows that Kirsten wants the outcast for the win, and Lamsra wants anyone but her. The blue is even better than last year. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you, it malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned, and I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree.
What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> fast, fast, fast. What about Vala? She's strong. Blood of a war chief. Ah, too much romance and not enough fist fights this year. you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're, you're very pregnant, Tim. <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild, the motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. We saw you talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Boss. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. 
I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It's loud, and it stinks, and the people are... idiots. Mm. All these people who kept me out. And now here I am, stuck inside with them. I think you'll find more to like in the days ahead. Get some rest. <laughs>